You found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue, and today I'm gonna to show you how to refill your one pound propane cylinder out of your 20 pound propane tank. It will save you money. <laughs> okay, besides being convenient, one of the main reasons to refill your own bottle is because it will save you money. You, I use my app to look at how much this would cost at Lowe's, and basically I can get this cylinder for about $6 if I buy two of them at a time. It cost me $18 to put 20 pounds of propane in my five gallon tank. I've got 90 cents worth of propane in here that I'm paying $6 for. And the other reason is just plain convenient. So you don't have to make another trip to the store. You can refill it when you need it. You can do it at your own convenience. And what do you need? You need a refiller adapter. Now, I bought this from Amazon. They sell them at Harbor Freight. They may sell them at the other stores. I hadn't checked all the places. But they come in different models. Some of them you can get have various valves on them. Typical propane tank today, you've got a set of outside threads, you've got a set of inside threads. So this model comes with what we call an acne nut. So you can tighten this by hand and you don't need tools to attach this to the cylinder. The model that, that uses the inside threads are left-handed threads and you definitely have to have a wrench or channel locks or something to install that. So either one will work, but this is the one that I preferred and it costs somewhere around $10. Okay, I've got to go over real quickly some safety rules. Got to do this housekeeping. Of course, propane is a highly flammable gas, but we're going to be transferring it in the liquid form. You burn it, of course, in the vapor form. But liquid propane is extremely cold, and contact with your skin or eyes can cause tissue damage similar to a third-degree burn. So you want to always wear your PPE. You want to wear some heavy-duty gloves and some eye protection. And always do this outdoors in a well-ventilated area. Never, ever do it indoors. Now, this video is for demonstration purposes. If you refill the cylinders, you do so at your own risk. You need to check the community laws in your area, in your state, in your country. In the United States, it's legal to refill them for personal use, but you cannot transport the cylinders if they've been refilled. On the bottle, it says, refilling may cause explosion. Federal law forbids transportation if refill. Penalty up to $500,000 and five years imprisonment. Yes, $500,000 and five years imprisonment. Can you hear me now? $500,000 and five years imprisonment. So you cannot transport these bottles. That means you can't put them in your car, you can't drive down the road under any circumstances. They do make bottles that are designed to be refilled. They are pricey. They cost around $100 for a bottle, but that may be cheaper than a $500,000 fine. So for my purposes, I'm only gonna be doing this at home. Since I'm doing it at home and not transporting the bottles anywhere, I'm not concerned about getting mine totally full. So. If they're three quarters full, that's fine. I don't really want them full because they're not designed to be refilled. So they're cheaply made bottles and you're just gonna be safer if you don't push the maximum limit. Okay guys, we're gonna start with our procedure, show you how to do this. That's what you're here for. I'm using a tall Map Pro bottle. Uh, the procedure's the same. The bottle's just a little taller. The capacity is actually a little bit less. And this tank weighs 14.1 ounces empty, or excuse me, 14.2 ounces empty. It will hold 14.1 ounces of liquid. So we're gonna be transferring from the big tank to the little tank. And of course we'll be transferring liquid propane. And the first step you wanna do is actually you wanna put this in the freezer overnight or uh, two or three hours ahead of time. Get it good and cold, lowers the vapor pressure. So whichever vessel's got the lowest vapor pressure, that's the direction the propane's gonna travel. So you want the lowest vapor pressure in the small vessel. Next thing you wanna do is make sure the valve is closed on your 20 pound tank. To the valve, well then there's no propane gonna flow. But once you attach this adapter 
it will allow propane to flow. So if you attach it when the valve's in the open position, you might get sprayed by propane. So always make sure that is closed. The next step is to attach it. Now, the adapter that I bought has the acne nut. It uses the external threads. They're right-handed threads. You turn it in clockwise direction and you can use, just get it hand tight. That's the beauty of the acne nut. So once that's done, you want to attach your propane cylinder. And it's also right hand threads. You wanna turn it clockwise. Okay, and I'm gonna use channel locks as a backup on this large brass nut to make sure I got it good and snug. Now we wanna invert our tank because we're gonna be transferring liquid. So you invert the tank. Direction say to open the bottom valve and listen to the transfer. And when you stop hearing that transfer sound, that hissing sound, then you're done. Now I have seen other people that say you can go several minutes and you are transferring liquid. So we want to open this valve. And whenever you think the transfer is done, well, the next step is to close the bottom valve. Okay, and we want to turn our large tank back upright. Double check that you did close the valve. And then we're gonna remove our small cylinder by turning it counterclockwise. There is some propane pressure that's built up in here. You'll probably see or hear the release. Okay, small puff. And with that, I'm gonna use my postal scales, turn that on, let them zero. I'm gonna weigh my bottle. Okay, so I am about three quarters full. And like I said before, that's good enough for me because I can refill it anytime because I'm doing it for my personal use at home. I'm not transporting these bottles. So I can always go back and refill it at any time. But if you need more in your, if you just feel that you got to put more, well, one procedure you can do, you can take something like an Allen wrench. I happen to have a T-handle Allen wrench. Doesn't have to be T-handle, but you put it in your main valve, just give it a little push down and it will release some pressure. Like, okay, just to lower the vapor pressure and then repeat the procedure until you're satisfied with the amount that you have in there. I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you learned something and I hope you'll consider hitting that like button and hitting the subscribe. I need likes and I need subscribers. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>